everyone, Werewitch here with Harry, who has promised to keep his comments to a minimum for these quick tip videos. Uh, what did I promise to? Let's get straight to the tips. Okay, so here's the first thing. I know you're frustrated. If you're already watching this, you're looking for help. I want you to know that you've got this. You can do this. In V Rising, the boss fights test your understanding of the game and how well you can apply this knowledge to the fight. The following checklist will add as much weight with your gained know-how to tip the scales in your favor. What one method used for beating a V-Blood may have worked great, may not work for another. It's a matter of finding out what you're missing. Let's go over the checklist together. Do you have the highest possible blood percentage available to you? Does it synergize with your gear or spell loadout? Should it even synergize? Or do you need to go with the more balanced approach? Are you using any crafted or merchant bot potions, any enchanted brew, potion of ferocity, or the best healing potion available? Have you beat all the bosses previous to this one? Have you tried taking out another boss level adjacent, or even a higher boss that you can beat that might unlock a component to make better gear? Have you attempted the fight during a blood moon to gain a little extra damage? Or have you encountered the fight during the day when you should have fought it at night? Are you using the environment to your advantage? And I do mean everything. Is there a boulder, a rock, a nearby monster, a tree, a pack of nearby wolves that could distract a wandering boss for you to get a couple more hits in? Have you tried a different spell loadout, a different weapon or armor? The time you take now to learn other skills will pay dividends at a later boss fight, or all of them. Can you unlock gear or item recipes on your research, study, or Athenaeum? You can also buy missing recipes for merchants as well. Okay, one last thing. Repetition is key. Keep trying. You may pick up on mechanics that I or someone else might miss. If you keep trying and learn something, anything from your attempts, then you aren't failing. You're just learning where to place the knife. Do not give up. We believe in you. Yeah. If Witch can do it, you definitely can. So that's the checklist. Let's look at the fight. Okay, so we are currently at gear level 32, which should be on par with Finn. Um, we are going to be using plated bone guard for this one. Uh, I made some merciless copper maces, well, one mace and one sword. We're going to be using... Veil of Chaos, Wraith Spear, and Bone Explosion. Chaos Barrage is the plan. Got rid of my health potions and dropped them down to Vermin Salve. And, um, yeah. I, I may even take my gear off before the fight. Oh, and we've got 100% Scholar Blood, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to bite something much less than 100 to get us closer to... Where someone's power would be at. Okay, so we got some lovely 5% rogue blood here that we replaced our 100% scholar with. We're flying over to Fens now and uh, let's start the fight. Find your own water in hell! Eat the call of the seaman! Now, I normally ignore these guys that are coming up. I've seen some people say online that you should try to take out the ads, and I don't know if you really need to do that. I don't feel like it's necessary as long as your movement is good. But he is going to bring out more and more. So you kind of want to rush this fight. We're going to heal up a little bit here. Grab up these health orbs. Distance is definitely going to help in this fight. There we go. Remember too that you always want to jump onto the B blood as soon as you can. 
if there's ads or other stuff, not in this situation, but if there's ads outside, it's gonna keep you invincible you know for that, that amount of time. Quiet. Can't be hurt while you're uh, draining V bloods. But that's pretty much it. Do your best, uh, the worm in the middle, he's gonna be firing a lot of projectiles off and you saw I got stunned and all kinds of other problems there. Um, distance is your fr friend, range there. I'm sure you could use a shield. Uh, shields are beneficial for any boss that has projectiles in, in the fight. Okay, so that was it, guys. If this helped you out, slap that like button, subscribe, or just leave us a comment below. Harry and I will get back with you as soon as we're available. We have lots of content with tips like these peppered in, and more videos like this one for the games we play here at The Project. We love having your company. Which doesn't have very many friends and his current group is less than desirable. That would include you too, Harry. <sighs> Thanks for watching. See you later.